met uh, a couple years ago. I think that you, I can't remember exactly how it happened. I think you reached out to me because you were just starting to put together this uh, plant-based athlete documentary and, and you wanted to come down and, and chat and you came over and we taped a little bit of, of an interview and that project's been ongoing. I've been tracking it. I'm pretty excited to hear you know, where you're at with it and what's going on with the documentary. Yeah, I mean, it's taking longer than expected as I expected, you know, so. Uh, All good things. Right. So I never sort of set a time on it, but a uh, few things would take a while. Um, you know, meeting the right people, putting together the proposals and the, uh, the outline and that sort of thing. But yeah, basically we're, we're examining um, the myths of meat, not only you know, the protein content, because I think it's, if people are listening to these types of shows or reading, you know, the plant-based material, they probably know by now that, you know, protein is, is not, uh, we don't need to get it from meat. You know, there's plenty of protein. What's up, y'all? I'm calling this The Lost Interview with James Wilkes, the producer of The Game Changers Vegan Documentary. Technically, it's not really lost because it's part of a complete episode of the Rich Roll podcast. But here's the deal. The complete podcast is like 98 minutes long, and there's only a few minutes where they talk about The Game Changers. First, right at the beginning of the episode, then they talk about health, plant-based diets and lifestyle for pretty much the whole episode. And then they don't mention the documentary again until the very end of the podcast. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes because the stuff at the end of the episode is really some of the most interesting content, especially now that we're right on top of the mass audience release of this film, The Game Changers. Of course, the link to the full podcast will be in the description. Believe it or not, this episode of the Rich Roll podcast is more than five years old, published in February of 2013. It's really kind of unbelievable how far both Rich's podcast and James Wilkes' Game Changers documentary project have come during that time, each carrying their own steam. So that first clip was from the beginning of the podcast. Now let's continue where that conversation left off and then make sure you stick around until the end because in this video, we'll jump to the juicy stuff at the very end of the podcast. Now, I mean, people, even people who read the articles or whatever, I still think that they're, they're, they're kind of maybe willing to take, take the leap, but they're still scared or uncertain or fearful about the protein issue because it's so deeply ingrained, you know, ever since we were small children, we've been told we need, you know, X, Y, and Z to build muscle and be healthy. And, you know, to suddenly flip that equation is, it's challenging for people to absorb that message. Sure. But even those that, that do get the message and understand the science, you know, as I've been researching this documentary, we've realized that it's, it's a lot more than that. For men, it's a lot about self-identity, uh, personal identity and social identity. So, you know, eating meat is, is uh, seen as more manly and not eating meat is seen as more feminine. So we've kind of got to change that perception. Right. Um, and it's and really silly if you think about it because, yeah. you know, it's not like you're, it's not like you're going out and hunting this animal and putting it on your shoulders and bringing it back to the homestead and throwing it on the hearth. I mean, you're going to the Safeway or the Vaughn's or the Albertsons or the Ralph's and, you know, buying a cellophane packaged, uh, you know, packaged processed ground beef or whatever, putting it on your, you know, back in your backyard barbecue. So how that equates to somebody being more masculine is, is a little bit confusing, but, you know, that's, that's the way it is. Right. I think it's just, you know, it's roots in hunting and that type of thing. But um, the reality is it's actually detrimental for masculinity, uh, uh, sexual drive, um, also erectile dysfunction. You know, you're damaging uh, the arteries. Uh, atherosclerosis is created by animal fat and also animal protein. And so the arteries that supply your heart, you know, those arteries also uh, supply your penis. So mm -hmm. if you, uh, you know, if you want to perform well, you don't want to be eating the animal protein. Yeah, absolutely. If you're having trouble getting it up, I mean, it's one of the early signs of, of heart disease. Correct. And the solution is not to go to your doctor and ask for a Viagra prescription. The right. solution is to change your diet and your lifestyle habits because Viagra is just masking something that is going to continue to get worse unless you address the underlying cause. And that gets to the heart of our healthcare system. It gets to the heart of how we treat disease in this country and, and the lack of focus on preventative medicine and the way that we handle sick people and just people in general who want to get healthier. Right. And the only way to reverse atherosclerosis that's been shown in the study has been a plant-based diet. So, 
you know, taking all these drugs is just masking the symptoms, basically. It's definitely interesting to hear James talk about the film covering the angle of erectile dysfunction and diet in this interview from five years ago. As we know from much more recent interviews at the Sundance Film Festival in 2018, artery function from an athletic perspective and erectile dysfunction as affected by diet are going to be central parts of this film. I published a video recently combining some of the most recent interview footage of the producer James Wilkes and the director Luis e. Hoyos talking about what kind of angles they're going to be using to cover erectile dysfunction from a scientific perspective and an athletic perspective in the final cut of this film. So check out that video next if you haven't seen it already. Now let's jump to the last segment of the interview where they start talking about the documentary content. It's a long segment, but for me it's the most interesting part because you actually get to see the evolution of this documentary project's concept. Originally with the, the documentary, um, the, the provisional title right now is The Game Changers. Um, and you know, it's featuring guys like you and Patrick and myself. Um, but the that was the thing originally, is I just wanted to talk about protein and how you didn't need protein. And then I realized that uh, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, and, my, and my friend Joseph Pace, who's helped me from Canada, you know, helped me realize that as well. There's a lot more than just whether you need protein or not. Because you can tell someone, actually, you can get protein from That'd this. That would be a very short, boring documentary. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you can get protein. That would be like, yeah. two, like a minute. <laughs> you you know? But, um, you know, I think it's not enough. There's been some great documentaries. But, you know, for example, Forks Over Knives is really good. But it's not enough just to tell people the science behind it. But that's why I think it's good to showcase some of these these people that are uh, very athletic, very strong, confident, powerful, um, but that are also you know eating this way. So you know for whatever their motivation, whether it be ethical or health reasons, we can still demonstrate that you know it's definitely possible. Right. And so where are you with the documentary? I want to I want to hear a little bit more about that. Um, well, we're still like I said, we're still. Um, we're just starting at the moment to get some, uh, you know, just regular guys that uh, that want to try it and um, and follow their story a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we've talked to a lot. We've done a lot of interviews. You know, but I started this documentary not knowing anything about documentary making. You know, yeah. when I bought a camera. And get a lot of, I think you're going to start getting a lot of messages after this podcast goes up of people who are going to volunteer. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're, we're actually still looking for some people. So you know, anyone that's interested in. Whether they're, you know, whether it's a similar story to you, maybe they're 40 years old and, uh, you know, looking to get back into shape and, you know, maybe not doing anything right now. Maybe they'd like to, you know, try a little triathlon eventually in a few months. Or, but but you know. I would imagine you want somebody who's, who's never done anything like this before, who kind of has a right. lot to, you know, is kind of in on the worser side of things. Well, we're looking for a couple of different people. You know, we're looking for people that have been. And say they're lifting weights and they, you know, they're eating a regular standard American diet, and you know they're not really getting any good numbers, or mm -hmm. you know we're looking for that type of guy, you know that like Patrick could come and help and give a few tips to and tell him what he eats, and then maybe a regular guy that's really not doing much and is on you know, cholesterol medication. So we're looking for a few different guys. Yeah. We're looking for you know you know different a variety of people so that we can show a variety of things. Like for example, if we just did say a runner who then went plant-based and he did a little bit better at running. People might expect that the endurance guys could do it. We'd still like to show that, um, but at the same time we'd like to see someone, you know, tr try the plant-based diet and get much stronger. Um, you know, if they want to go and compete in a powerlifting tournament, or what, you know, whatever the case may be. We're just kind of, we're letting it be organic, um, so we're not sort of setting anything up so it's fake. We want it to be authentic. And, uh, you know, see, so if there is anybody out there that's interested in uh, being in the documentary, you know, we want to do it right. That's why we haven't rushed it. And uh, and also, it took me a while. You know, I went and bought a camera and some lights and sound equipment and trying to do everything myself. And yeah, yeah, we actually need to reshoot. We actually need We do need to reshoot. Yeah, <laughs> yours is the worst one, actually. Oh, no. You go watch it. Oh no. Yeah. Um, well, let's do it again. Man. Wait, what you said was good. It just um, the camera work wasn't so good. But anyway. Um, you know, I've got other people on board now helping me out. Ryan Vance, who's uh, uh, a filmmaker that studied at London Film School. He's up here in LA. And Joseph Pace helped me with uh, writing it all out. But, um, yeah. And, 
so basically, you know, we're definitely looking for people, and it just takes a lot longer than, you know, again, once we've got lo hours and hours of footage, um, following one of my students who, uh, you know, was really overweight, he, he switched uh, first two weeks, he lost 14 pounds, you know, um, but that's not his goal to lose weight, it's just like, you know, if you eat healthy and uh, eat the right foods, the, the weight loss will, uh, the fat loss anyway, will be. In. Like I said, y'all, this is what's fascinating to me to see how the film concept evolves from following some people doing plant-based transformations into something that I expect is going to be a cultural phenomenon and one of the most influential films of the year, not just in the vegan community either, but across the board. Even if you look at the cast, what it has become compared to where he was with this project five years ago is incredible. I'm kind of sad to say that when I was scrolling through the cast on the official webpage, it doesn't look like Rich Roll made the final cut, but they do have Scott Jurek and some other endurance athletes, so the endurance athletes will be there represented in full force. Did any of y'all notice the provisional title was still The Game Changers, even in this interview from five years ago? I thought that was really cool. Now, you tell me. What aspects of the film are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll leave a link so you can check out the full interview from more than five years ago with Rich Roll and the producer of The Game Changers, James Wilkes. What I'm calling here, The Lost Interview. My goal here is to promote the documentary film and get more people excited about this project, put more eyes on this footage and what it means for young men as we witness a major consciousness shift away from reliance on diets based around meat, dairy, and eggs, and towards healthy, whole plant food diets centered around starches, grains, beans, tubers, fruits, and vegetables, nuts, seeds, avocados, and all that good stuff. Just remember, y'all, you are the game changers, period. You don't have to be a cast member on this big budget film project in order to influence the people around you. Look, Rich Roll is a game changer, in the film or not. Dylan Cantrell is a game changer, just like James Wilkes and Patrick Baboumian are game changers. In your town, in your city, on your college campus, in the break room at your job. That's where people are going to see how you're representing a plant-based lifestyle. So bring your best game every day and you can change the game. And if you see some of this bad diet advice out there that's damaging people's lives, let me know because that's the kind of stuff I like to cover on Red Pill Vegan where it's not all good. Not everybody out there is representing and recommending that you eat whole plant foods. There's people out there telling you not to eat whole plant foods. And I see it, you see it, we talk about it, we're going to put the spotlight on them, and let them know what time it is, because we're changing the game around here. I'm going to do my part over here. Hope you guys will stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Red Pill Vegan, next! <laughs>